India recently rejected a billion Chinese dollars in investment. Chinese EV major BYD wanted to invest a billion dollars to build a EV manufacturing facility in India. We told you that 10 days ago. BYD even had a local partner lined up, the privately held Hyderabad-based Mega Engineering and Infrastructures. To sweeten the pot, the Chinese also offered to build charging stations across the country and construction of research and development facilities and training centers. But India said an emphatic no. Although you aren't wondering why, as you might already know, the reason cited was national security. In all, 58 Chinese FDI applications have been turned down by India since fiscal year 2021, with rejections touching an all-time high of 33 in fiscal year 2022. When China stabbed India in the dark on icy Galwan Heights in 2020, it probably did not think its cowardly act will prod India enough to scrutinize business deals. But India is in no mood to be found passive on any front. First, it banned a slew of Chinese apps after Galwan Valley clash. Then, especially since 2020, it slammed the door shut on Chinese FDI, including on Chinese nationals operating from Hong Kong, Taiwan and elsewhere. And this is reflected in the FDI applications India rejected in the last few years. So far, just three Chinese investment proposals from China or Chinese nationals have been approved. This information was revealed in response to an RTI application filed by Business Today. According to the Business Today report, India has rejected 58 FDI applications between 2021 and 2023. BYD, which wanted to invest a billion dollars on building an EV manufacturing facility in the country after Tesla's efforts started gaining speed, now stands rejected. And Chinese mobile and auto companies, which are still operating in India, are increasingly being asked to partner with Indian companies with a majority equity stake. This will seriously hurt the Chinese interests. If China was hoping to get involved in critical sectors like EV manufacturing so they could use it as leverage in negotiations on other matters, now that is less likely to happen. If you liked watching this video, please like, share and subscribe. Should I stock up on some global brands? Diversify investments with global stocks. Invest. Diversification is interesting. Should I invest in global markets? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.